Okay, YouTubers. This is Terry, the old guy from egadjewelry.com. The jewelry doctor here down in the Oak Alley Art District in Melbourne, Florida. What I got here today is uh, an example of two hollow rope necklaces. Both of these necklaces are broken. I recently did a video online of repairing one of uh, a hollow rope necklace. We got so many reviews, we thought we'd come back and do it again because there were some questions that evidently I forgot to answer. The first one's 8 millimeters wide, 34 inches long. It's broken. It's 10 karat yellow gold, 27.6 grams. Okay, I believe you all can see it a little better now. Um, what you have to do when you're working with these hollow rope necklaces is uh, the most important thing I find is clean that chain. Throw that chain in a cleaner. Don't take it out until you know everything is out of those tubes. I'll come down on that link and I'll just wiggle and push down until I go all the way through. And this makes a nice clean cut. I'm already through. And on this one. And I want to be right in the middle. Give it a little wiggle. You can feel it go through. I have put this chain together. And what I did was I marked those two links with a black magic or with a blue magic marker so that it would stand out a little more than that little black tip that I had on there. But the chains together. Okay. I've got everything here. What I'm gonna do now is uh I've got everything set up to solder. I'm just going to coat these links with a little bit of boric acid and alcohol. And yeah, let's set it on fire. Now, I'm going to take a couple pieces of this small solder. I'm going to leave one there, right in the crease. I got another one, small one I'm going to put right there. Heat it up slow enough that the solders don't bounce off. flame a little bit softer. And that's soft enough. I like to keep my hands on the chain in case it moves. I can always shift it back. See the solder's already balling up. That's a good sign. Look at that. The solder's already flowing. Let's see we get all of it to go. I want a good scene up here. Yeah. That puppy is done. The other side's already soldered, so I really don't worry about too much shifting and movements. And it's 40 years ago, I had a lot steadier hand. And again, look at the flame I'm using. Nothing hot here. Nothing super hot. I'm not going to melt those links. I better not. Customers don't want that. Watch the solder flow. Watch the solder flow. There we go. Now let's get it to run down the sides. There we go. As you can see. Can you see my, my, my joint? Let's see. I always have problems finding my joints too. Um, I, there it is. I think that's it. Right there. Yeah. Right over top of that dot. See the link? Solid stiff. Let's roll it over. Looks good. See the link on the other side, right there? Soldered stiff. Have fun, and any questions, send them to me. This is the old guy, Egad Jewelry, and I'm out.